All right, this is not going to be the best here because the sun is hitting this. I got to pull this whole panel off the door. Door card, sometimes they call it. I was sent one of these uh, as a replacement for this one because this one is all cracked and busted up. You got to pull this first. You have to pull the bolts from here. You have to pull this handle off. This has some screws in it. This disconnects from here. You can leave it in place. You can disconnect the fittings for these buttons and pull that off. This cover has to come off. Then the whole panel comes off. And there's a bunch of white plastic clips. And uh, it can be a little difficult at times if you don't know what you're doing. Buy one of these. If you don't have one of these yet, go get one. Stop. I'll wait for you. You back already? Okay, here you go. <laughs> so I know there's a pin here and there's a little thing that slides in. So you're just going to stick this in here. Look at that. It actually separated. That's fine. That slides right up inside of here and clip it in place so it'll stay there. But that's all that is. Pull it out, bend it, pull it up. Next step is pulling these caps off. See if the camera's focused on there. If it's, uh, I can't even see. There's so much light here. Okay. Um, let's try to get these off. I have a tiny little screwdriver here. Pull these caps off. I'm assuming this will work. It looks like it will work. Oh, nice, nice. They're filthy. I'll have to clean those later. Just a tip. All the crud on here on the carpet. Uh, simple green. And a stiff bristled, bristled nylon brush. Just spray it down and hit that. cleans it right up. If you want to hit it with water after that, you can do that. But it cleans it, makes it look like new. I'm not blocking that too much. It's kind of a tough angle here. Figure this out. I was told this was a Torx 30. Looks about right. I picked one of these up from the store. I have the bits. But I like these because if you need to get extra torque on it, you could push in and put a wrench on this to turn it. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that sort of system. Yeah, look at that. I think these will get loose. There we go. Once you hear the clicking sound, it's loose. I believe that they'll stay on the handle. I have two extra handles. I have two of these panels, one for each side. It's all sent to me from Cliff down in Florida. Thanks, man. <laughs> right. There we go. Easy peasy. Put that right there. This is not in there. That tells, well, I already know this has been removed, so this is going to come right off of here. All right. This is a Phillips head screwdriver here. And I've got some screws in here. I'll pause this for you. All right. I know there's a clip up here. There we go. So that's that. Now you can deal with this any way you want. You can leave this hanging. I think I'm going to try disconnecting these clips. The tweeter spins right out. So that's out. Just spins right out of there. And what I did was, was this was sent to me already, a spare one. So I experimented with these clips on how to take them apart. And uh, there's just a little finagling with this stuff, as there always is. Uh, you usually have to push something to get something else to release. And I have extra switches if for some reason I bust something, which hopefully I won't. Let's get a screwdriver in here. Sometimes it just helps to have a screwdriver. 
press this in here and this should release. Okay, so that's out. Tweeter is out. Push this in. That's out. So that was just pushing this center piece in here. This looks like it'll remove and it will. There's a white piece to this clip here, but you don't want to take that out. That's actually just like a, a friction thing, resistor that pushes the up against the wires inside there. So I think it's the similar thing here. You have to lift up on this one and get that out. Oh, I just busted that. It makes it a lot easier to take it out if you break it. <laughs> It won't matter, that'll plug in there and stay in. And then I think this one here is a push in here. Push this in to get that in. I forget, I was playing with this yesterday. I'm gonna pause this in an effort to save time and get that out of there. Okay, so what I ended up doing was here, I ended up pulling this whole module out it was easier there's these two sides you just get a, a screwdriver in here pry that a little bit you can wedge it and it, it'll pop right out it's actually easier than trying to unplug it just worked out that way these other things are in there that's fine i'll be able to plug that back in i see a burn mark on this switch in here it's still working i do have an extra if that one does burn out so something to be aware of here Looking at my back again, sorry. We'll leave that in there. This is all hanging free. So now this panel should just come off. Now, I just, this is all busted up. I'll try to get you a wider angle. It's kind of hard to adjust this camera here. There we go. So hopefully I don't screw this up too bad. It's just totally free here. Here's the books that are in here, in case you were curious. With the old breed. E.B. Sledge, he was a mortarman. I think he was Iwo Jima? No, no, no. Paolo in Okinawa. Good book. That a read. What else do I got in here? The raw material. This is deep, deep stuff. Uh, probably, yeah, a lot of you probably won't be that into it, but it's interesting stuff to read. I enjoy this sort of thing. I've got uh, Robert Seffer's Species with Amnesia really good book oh uh i might have read this before hp lovecraft uh you know this is weird it just it's funny with some of these writers i read this because i watched a film where they mentioned it that's how i get a lot of my book recommendations i'll be watching a movie that i dig on and they'll mention a book and that book really meant something to the guy who wrote it right who wrote the film you're watching and then you read it and you're like really that's it I, honestly i could read that go home I think I could write something better but that's just me <laughs> got a map in here and uh, oh look I have one of these clips in here already I was sent a bag of clips for this door to repair it which is good because I'm gonna need them a bookmarker in here Army Marines Navy Air Force Coast Guard nice okay this is we're just gonna pull this off here Oh, that's interesting. That, I think this has to lift up. Yeah. And it's interesting, just pulling that off there. I have to point this out. On these, it, it kind of, see how this comes out this way? It slides in. It almost seems to me more like the pins are supposed to stay in and you're supposed to lift up. Let's give that a shot. Let's see if that works. Feels like yeah yeah so that lifts off of here that was nice I was beginning to rip that off of there because I didn't know what I was doing but you definitely just have to lift up vertical on that we'll see what happens here I think it's probably a lift and pull busted one I could see that busted down there try to lift and pull here okay we have to get in there with the pry bar There's three 
three of them across the bottom, and then there's got to be one right over here. Oh, I can see it. Okay. That makes life easier. All right. And there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. So you can see on the back of this door, this is all cracked across here, busted there, busted there. Some of the clips are still in, this one's busted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these parts, I'm gonna take the bag of parts that was sent to me, and I'm gonna JB weld those things onto the other door card I have, make it work. I wish I would have thought ahead and had speakers for this, but as you know, limited budget. But these uh, speakers are notoriously horrible. Just not good. But now that I you know how to do this, uh, it won't be a big deal to do it again. All right? So that's what I'll do then. I'm going to wipe this down, vacuum it off, blow it off, whatever. And uh, take it from there. So stay tuned. So here's the other door card. Got this out in the sun because I had this in the van. It was kind of cool. This is a peel and stick vinyl that I'm going to use to cover this. And I'm going to attempt to cover the whole arm and make it look better than what I did before. For now, I'll just take this off of here. I want to show you the back side of this. It's in pretty good shape. Again, this was all kind of moldy all in here and all of this this had duct tape on it that I took off and you can see how nice and clean this is now it looks like new and that was just simple green spraying it down hitting it with a brush and then I literally just hosed it off I actually had it out here with the hose so this is the back side of it and you can see that's there that's there these are missing I have two of those that just came off try to JB weld that piece on there missing one here these are in place so this this car is things in much better shape than the one I just took out I'm going to replace the reflector uh, that goes in up here and that's about it it's still a little dirty in this hole I can clean that out a little bit better I'm not too concerned about it but that's that's kind of what's happening I'm going to pause the video here and uh, it might shut off if it does then you're going to just get this part of the video how to remove the door card we'll see how far we get after that okay so these are the parts that i have that just came off the door panel i pulled off the the astro these are the parts that were sent to me okay so between everything I have here, I've definitely got enough parts. I have no idea what these are for. I definitely have enough parts here. Oh, look, he even sent me a couple of these, which is real nice. Don't know what that's. That's a knob bezel. Oh, he cut these off with a sawzall for me off of another door, I guess. So with everything I have here, I've got what I need to basically put it back to OEM, man. Get it on that next. Okay, this is an experiment. I grabbed this with a pair of pliers and now I'm busting that off. And look at that. That gives me pretty much exactly what I need to glue on to the other door panel. So let's do it for you in real time here. I'm going to get the pliers in here. Let's bust this off from the inside first. See if that gives me a little more room. Mm. Best intentions, right? <laughs> right? Let's just grab it. See if this works. Yeah, the other one was easy. There's no problem. Now I'm going to have a hard time all of a sudden. Huh. Well, you need a couple of them. There we go. See that? that I just ripped off of there. We got this. We'll move, adjust the pliers. We'll bend this out. Look at that. Now I got another one, JB Weld that on the top. And again, the white clip slides right in there like that. So, we'll tip. All right, so it's my first time using this JB Weld here like this. So, 
I don't know how much working time we have here. I don't think I'm going to need that much of it. Yeah. Every time. Let's see here. I'm putting this back on. It's resealable. It's a little piece of rubber here. Let's mix that up pretty good. And let's take you over to the panel. See how this works out. Okay, I can't see as much as you can because the sun is real hot here. So I uh, hope you can see this. I'm going to do this one here first. I'm just going to dab some of this along the edge. And I'm going to pop this piece on here. This is not the piece that went to this. Oops. Set that right on. Ah. In theory, this will work. <laughs> Set that right there. I'm gonna put a little more JV weld around the outside. It. Oh man, I keep. That's me putting too much pressure on it. I just gotta let it sit there. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. Ask any woman I've ever dated. Okay. Where's the rest of them? Here's another one. This one's gonna go over here. Hope this is all on camera. Like I said, I can't really see what you guys see. The sun is just too hot. What I mean by that is not temperature, like what I'm feeling on my skin, but more about hot in the lens on the camera. So when I look at the rear screen of the camera, I can't see anything in the screen outside here. That around there. Just let that sit there. Okay. This one fits much nicer. Might have to mix up a little more JB Weld. Think about JB Weld. You want to think about it like welding. You ever look at a weld where there's extra material added? So just pile that on there and it'll harden. And then there's one more right here enough just to kind of get it to stick. Maybe I'll mix up some more uh, to uh, put on just to back up these uh, JB welds. So I really hope you can see this. I won't know until I look at the camera. And I think this video is getting long, so I think I might do a separate video of me installing the panel after the fact, but we'll see. Okay, so this video is already 18 minutes, and I think the most important part was what I already did. Uh, mostly just removing the door panel. Most you need to know how to remove the panel. There's other videos out there. Uh, there's a guy, he was in the Marines, a Hispanic guy. He's done some of these videos. He's usually holding the camera and dropping it and whatnot. I like him. I like him. I like his videos. I'll put a link to his video uh, that I watched. Uh, it's from a few years ago. But that's what you need. That's how you get the panel off put it back on is just reversing the order so that's it I just JB welded this I'll show you that real quick 